No boat building video is complete without a picture of the sailing ship. This is the USS Constitution, a frigate, and still a commissioned ship in the United States Navy. Hi everybody, welcome back to Jenkins Boat Works. I am Chuck Jenkins. In this video episode, we are gonna do a little work on the Haven. This boat here that uh, we're pretty much complete with, but I had failed to make the jaws for the gaff. We're doing a gaff rig as opposed to uh, a Marconi. So that means not only do we have a mast which is right here, and a boom, but we also have the, the top spar, which uh, attaches to the, to the head of the sail. So uh, in order for the gaff to be able to connect to the mast, we have to have uh, these oak jaws that attach to the end of the gaff that then fork around the mast. So in other words, if, if you could imagine this is the mast, you, and then this is the gap. It's, it, would ha it has two pieces of oak on each side of the end of the gap that then fork around the mast so that it holds it there when, when the sail's lifted up. Um, this will make more sense once we get into this. And I've known uh, for a very long time I needed to do this and I just uh, hadn't tackled it. It's just a, a little job. It doesn't seem like it should be that big a deal, but it proved to be um, a, a bit of a challenge. So anyway, uh, we're glad you're here. I hope you'll uh, enjoy this. And if you're new to the channel, uh, would you please consider subscribing? Um, all right, well, let's jump in and see how we make the gaff jaws. Okay, so today I'm working on making the jaws for the gap. And this is one little piece that I just haven't, hadn't made yet. Um, we can see our gap is here, which in full size I have laying here on the bench. And so basically what I need to do is I need to create the jaws that attach to the end of this so that it can then fit against the mast laying over here. So what I'm trying to do is figure out how do I make these little pieces. So I've just taken some measurements. Now here's a side view. And you, we see that it's got this curve, this angle that goes up. Uh, just for perspective, let's look at the other plan on the wall over here. On the sail plan, um, it shows the gaff jaws here. So they attach on the, on the gaff and then go around either side of the mast. So we see that that thing's got an angle to it. it, it and so my first thought was, well, I'm going to need to steam bend this. But I don't know if that's what we're doing. So here's what I've got. I've got to try to figure out how to make two of these, one for one side, one for the other. It's got this bale then that attaches to it that holds it on the mast, which is this bronze piece here. So I couldn't figure out how much of a curve I had on this thing. How much does it bend up? So at a point, I drew a line 90 degrees from this straight line here. Um, I just went 90 degrees straight up. Then I adjusted my compass that so that I could put the point of it here and here and also here and here. And once I knew what this distance was and this distance and was equal, then I knew that I had a center point. And so then I just took it and I just made it a, a complete circle around the whole thing. Then I measured my radius from here to here. 
So let's just measure it. This plan is, is an eighth of an inch equals an inch in real life. So from that point down, we're one, two, three, about five eighths all the way to, to this bottom part of this thing right here. So five eighths of an inch from the center all the way down to the bottom of there. So when I set my compass up, I set it on the bottom edge of this. And I measured this and it's about an eighth of an inch, so we know that's an inch thick. Then I just took and I made a circle. I found out if it's five eighths, in real life it's a five inch um, radius. So I used this tool the other day when I was figuring out a deck radius. So I drilled a hole in my board here at five inches from this nail. And then I put my paper up here and I drew my curve. This is a five inch radius curve. Okay, so this represents just a simple side view drawing of the lower edge. So it goes all the way back here. And so then this will be an inch thick. This attaches to the, to the side of the gaff and then this part's gonna curve up. So now we know that part of it. The next thing is the radius inside this. So you got these two jaws attached in here and we know that the diameter is three and five eighths. So half of that is one and 13 sixteenths. And in this case, I was able to set my compass at one and 13 sixteenths. And um, okay, so what I gotta try to do is create this in full size. <clears throat> So we know that the gaff here is an inch and a half in diameter. So I've drawn my gaff and this is real life and it's an inch and a half. This is a midpoint, so three quarters of an inch down. And since we see that this is three and five eighths in diameter here in the inside of these jaws, can we see that? Yeah, right there. So half of three and five eighths is one and 13 sixteenths. So I've set my compass and put it here so that it's at the end of the gaff. Got a pivot point right there. And then I've drawn my, drawn my uh, three and five eighths diameter. So then I cut out some cardboard that's approximately the shape of this dude. Where's my other piece? All right there. So it's close. So those will be on the gaff. Now we can kind of test this to see if this ring's gonna fit on there, and I believe it will. We'll uh, cut those out maybe just a little bit bigger than they are. But um, anyway, that's, that's basically what we're doing. So when I got my piece of oak and laid this on here like this, that's actually gonna be, I'm gonna make it longer than that just so I've got extra. Hopefully, we'll go take this over to the bandsaw and cut this out. Okay, so we've got our piece cut out. We just did on the bandsaw. So that looks like what it should look like, pretty much. 
And now, uh, ignore this writing on here, but I just cut out my, my pattern that I'd made, that I got my curve on, my radius, and because I've got a little check in here, a little crack right there, I don't want to use that side, we're gonna use this part up here. So, I'll just lay that on there, and what I'm looking at is where this curve starts is right close to where this curve starts. So I'm really good with that. So I'm just gonna draw a line up here, and we'll cut that out and make it one inch thick all the way back, and that should do it. So we'll draw this first line. Well, you get the idea. I think I'm gonna go get a marker so I'll really be able to see it. All right. All right, it's a little rough. It was hard to cut through this, but uh, here's one of them. We'll take this on the sander and clean it up. So this edge here will go against the gaff out toward the end of the gap is here. And then this part here will be going around the mast. Wow. Got a little check right there that I didn't see previously. I think we'll put some epoxy in there. It's hard to visualize this kind of stuff. I have a very difficult time visualizing it, but that's what it's supposed to look like. So after considerable fashioning and sanding, we've got our jaws. I'm going to put fiberglass cloth and epoxy on these because I'm noticing a couple of little cracks. And the way the grain's running, especially on these ends, I feel like those could just snap off. So we will use our modern technological advantages, but Anyway, I think they came out pretty good. I really became kind of worried about these jaws, the way I cut them out with the way the grain's running. I was afraid that these could break off anywhere in that grain, kind of the same way on that one. So I took this fiberglass tape and I wrapped it around these. Uh, you can kind of see how it's wrapped right there. I wrapped it pretty tight and then put epoxy on there. And I was worried about coming around the corners, but I think we're good enough. Um, so um, that should really strengthen those. And now I'm not gonna worry about them. So we'll have to clean those up obviously and, and uh, sand them down. But I believe that's gonna going to keep me from worrying about if those are going to snap off while I'm out in the middle of the sail. All right, that's how you do it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.